I'm back from the store. Let me tell you, this was a good idea that I brought this with me to the store because I thought, ah, somebody will have exactly what I want. And they had different things at the store. So I'm glad I went because the first couple of hardware stores I went to didn't have it. I was a little bummed out that I might have to go to a wholesale plumbing house. But I finally found it. And it matches up pretty close. Now, this one here had a little gasket inside it. Right here. And it was kind of a heavy paper gasket. And that was down there like that. The nut went against there like that and tightened up. But the new one didn't come with this little gasket. And I don't think I really need that gasket. It, there's plenty of rim around there so when I tighten that up that's gonna be just fine I talked to the guy at the hardware store and um, he helped me out and I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with that okay so that that lined up this is a double one well you know Lots of toilets only have this one here. You put it in and you tighten it up and then they have a different arrangement. So that's what that's that's what I was telling you before. Not all toilets are the same. Not all gasket assemblies are the same. So when you go to the store, make sure you take all of the parts so that you can match it up exact. Now here's here's one thing I found kind of odd. This rubber gasket here wasn't very thick and that fits on there up in here and it goes inside the toilet. I'll show you all about it but this is the one that came with this new gasket assembly. It's a little bit fatter. See how much fatter this one is as opposed to this one? Right there. And again it'll fit on there just fine. And in, if anything, it's just going to give a little bit more of a better seal. This fits inside the tank, and there's plenty of threads to thread it on there. And that just means this area here is going to set up just a hair higher than this one did. And if anything, it's going to work better. Because this could have been leaking, and this might have been leaking too. But I think I got all my parts here, and I'm all set to go. Here's one more thing I wanted to uh, show you too. On this old one, as you push this back up in there, remember it had this little nib on here where the bolt went through and uh, that kind of mashed down. Well, this new one doesn't have that little rib around there it just goes straight up. If anything, that's just going to make it easier to slip in there, you know? And then I could, I might have to cut that off or, or when I tighten the nut down from the inside, it's going to smash down and it'll, it'll be fine. And the other thing I noticed too, um, it gave me new whole new set of brass uh, bolts. Now these are brass too. And see, my existing ones were shorter than the other ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not. I'm going to have to, once I put this up, I'll kind of set that because the last thing I want is for this to hang down too far and to see it. If you're walking over to the toilet, oh, what's that hanging down? Oh, that should have been cut off. So I might end up using these. If I do use these, I'll use the new washers with these and the new nuts, if anything. I don't have to use the old ones. And the other thing I found interesting was this set here gave me some black washers too. This is rubber and I like that because before, when this bolt came through, follow this now, when this bolt came through here, you tightened it up with the washer and the nut and that fit tight right up against the porcelain tank. Well, it's, it's, 
you know, they did one better. You've got this. So now you've got a rubber washer there. And then the new metal washer goes there like that. Then the nut. That way when you tighten it up, you're not tightening up the metal washer right on the porcelain. Because lots of times, if you tighten this up too tight, if you're not watching what you're doing, you could crack the, the tank. Now I'm still going to have to be careful, but this is just a hair bigger than the washer. And once I tighten it, it's going to have a tendency to still make it tight, but it's going to give just a little bit because the rubber is right up against the, uh, the porcelain tank, not the actual metal washer. You know what I mean? So if you can ever do that with yours, you know, they even sell these separately. So if you ever have to do a repair and your new set doesn't come with that, think about that before you tighten that up. That gives it just a little give and you're less likely to crack that tank. Last thing you want to do is over tighten those nuts or you'll be sorry.